Hello children, welcome to Math Park. We start with the new topic, Chapter 21 Solids, where we are going to solve the problems on surface area and volume of 3D shapes. This is from the class 9, from the book Concise Selena, class 9 ICSE. So we'll be solving in two parts. If you like it, please share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. The length, breadth and height of the rectangular solid are in the ratio 5 is to 4 is to 2. So let us take the length as 5x. Let us take the length uh, as 5x, breadth as 4x and the height as 2x. And the total surface area is twice LB plus BH plus HL. Is, uh, and the total surface area is given as 1216 centimeters square. You are asked to find the length, breadth and height. Let us put the values in this formula. So we have wherein we have a twice the length is 5x and the breadth is 4x so 5 times 4x plus breadth is 4x and the height is 2x so 4 times 2x plus the height is again 2x and the length is 5x and this is equal to 1216 so 5 times 4 which is 20 x times x is x square 4 to the 8 so plus 8x square, 5 to the 10, so 10x square is equal to 1216. The letter shift is 2 here, divided by 2, 2, 6, uh, 12, uh, 0, and 2, 8, the 16, we get 608. 20 plus 10, 30 plus 8, 38x square is equal to 608. So you get x square is equal to 608 divided by 38. So let us divide this. Divided by 38, we get 16. So x is equal to square root of 16, which is 4 centi, uh, 4. The value of x is 4. So this is how you get the length as 5 times 4, which is 20 centimeter. The breadth as the breadth is equal to 4 times 4, which is 16 centimeter. And the height is 2 times 4, which is 8 centimeter. So this is how the length, breadth and height are 20 centimeter, 16 centimeter and 8 centimeter respectively. Question number two, the volume of the cube is 729 centimeter cube. Find the total surface area. Now the volume of a cube is side cube. So we know, let us take the length of one edge of a cube to be A. And we know that the volume is A cube because all the edges are equal. Substitute the get volume is 729 which is A cube. And 729 is cube of 9. So 9 cube is A cube. This is how you get A is equal to 9 centimeter. This is how now we are asked to find the total surface area. We found the A. So total surface area is 6 times A square. Where A is 9, 6 times 9 square. So 6 into 9 square is 81. Which we get it as 486 centimeter square. Got it? So the volume is given. You have to find the total surface area. For that, we need to find the length of edge first. Question number three, the dimensions of the hall are 100 meter, 60 meter and 15 meter. So you have length is equal to 100 meter. Then you have breadth is equal to 60 meter. And you have height is equal to 15 meter. These are the dimensions of the hall. And uh, how many persons can sit in a hall if each requires 150 meter cube of air? So one meter cube of air, one person can sit. Okay, if one meter... The per for the air for a person to breathe, 150 meter cube is for one person. So, the number of persons that can sit in a hall is volume of a hall divided by air, air needed for each person. Air needed for each person. Now, volume of a hall is nothing but length into breadth into height which is 100 into 60 into 15 and air needed for each person is 150 so let us simplify this 15 when the 15 gone and 6 times 100 is 600 so this is how 600 people can sit in a hall if each requires 150 meter cube of air got it the next question 75 persons can sleep in a room which is 25 meter by 9.6 meter that and that means if the length of the room is 25 meter, the breadth of the room is 9.6 meter and you are, the height is what you have to calculate. 
So let us take the height to be h, which is to be calculated. Each person requires 16 meter cube. So that means one person is equivalent to 16 meter cube. And then we know that the number of persons that can sleep in a room is volume of a room divided by air needed for each person. Air needed for each person. So volume of a room is number of persons we know, which is 75. Okay. And the volume of the room is length into breadth into height, which is 25 into 9.6 into h. Air needed for each person is a uh, 16 meter cube. So shift this 75 over here or we can have 75 into 16 upon uh, 25 into 9.6 is equal to h. So 60, if you divide 25 ones are and 25 threes are 16, if you 9.6, if you divide, so let us multiply by 10 and multiply by 10 here. So you get you get h is equal to 3 times 16 times 10 upon 96. Now 16, 6 the 96, 3 ones are 3 and 3 twos are 6, 2 ones are and 2 fives are. So this is how you get the height of the room as 5 meter. You get the height of the room as 5 meter. The edges of 3 cubes of metal are 3 centimeter, 4 centimeter and 5 centimeter. They are melted to form a single cube. So there are three cubes which are melted to form a single cube. We know that the volume of the melted single cube is the volume of all the three. We add the volumes of all the three. Three cube is 27, four cube is 64, five cube is 125. Adding all of this, you get 216. Take the, if you don't know, you need to learn the cubes of numbers till 10. So 216 is nothing but six cube. Otherwise, you can find the prime factorization and get it. So this is how you get A is equal to 6 centimeter. So the edge of the new cube is nothing but 6 centimeter. Got it? Question number 6. Three cubes whose edges are X, 8 and 10 respectively are melted and recasted into a single cube. So volume of the melted single cube is nothing but the edge is 12. So 12 cube is equal to the sum of the cubes which are being melted to form a single. That is X cube plus 8 cube. The volume of a cube is h cube. So x cube plus 8 cube plus 10 cube. 8 cube is 512. 10 cube is 1000. And uh, 12 is the edge of this. So 12 cube. So 12 cube is equal to x cube plus add these two. You get 1512. 12 cube is 1728. If you take this over here, this becomes 12 cube minus 1512. 12 cube is 1728. 1728 minus 1512 is 216. So taking the cube root, you get cube root of 216 is 6 or you can write x cube is equal to 6 cube. This is how you get x is equal to 6 centimeter. Three equal cubes are placed adjacently in a row. So this is a cube 1. Then there is another cube 2 and another cube 3. They are placed adjacently in a row. Find the ratio of the total surface area of the resulting cuboid to the sum of the total surface area of the three cubes. So A be the edge of one cube. So A, A, A. For the resulting cube, this is the going to be 3A. The total surface TSA of TSA of three cubes, TSA of three cubes is equal to three. A TSA of three cubes is equal to uh, three times sixth A square. So TSA of 3 cubes, there are 3 cubes and for uh, surface area of 1 cube is 6A square, so which is 18, 3 times 6A square which is 18A square. Then find the ratio of the total surface area of the resulting cuboid and the sum of the total surface area of 3 cubes. So 3 cubes together it is 18A cube, 6A square plus 6A square plus 6A square is nothing but 3 times 6A square which is 18 square. TSA of resulting TSA of resulting uh, cuboid, resulting cuboid is equal to well, the, the length is 3A, the breadth is A and the height is A. The resulting cuboid only the length increases. So TSA of cuboid is the same as twice LB plus BH 
plus HL. Let us put the values twice. LB means 3A times A plus BH means A times A and HL is A times 3A which is 2 3A square plus A square plus 3A square which is 2 times 3 plus 1 4 plus 3 7 7 a square that is 14 a square got it so this is the tsa of the resulting cuboid you are asked to find the ratio of the tsa of the cuboid to the total surface area of three cubes so this is 14 a square divided by 18 a square a square a square got cancelled 2 7s are 14 and 2 9s are 18 so the required ratio is 7 is to 9 got it Cost of papering four walls of a room at 75 paisa per meter is rupees 250. The height of the room is 5 meters. Find the length and the breadth of the room if they are in the ratio 5 is to 3. So let us take the length to be, let us take the length to be 5x and the breadth to be 3x. Okay. And you are asked to find the, and the height is equal to 5 meters. Now, you are given the cost of papering the walls, which is rupees 240. So, how do I get the cost? So, it is area of walls, area of walls multiplied by the rate, you get the total cost. Now, area of the four walls is twice length plus breadth into H and the rate is 75 paisa. It is 75 paise and the cost is given to you as 240. So, let us put the values twice. The length is 5x, the breadth is 3x and the height is 5 meters. Multiplied by 75 paise is 75 by 100 rupees which is 240. So, let us simplify. So, we have two fives. All of these moves there. So, 8, this is 10 into this is 8x into 75 by 100 is equal to 240. Let us keep x here. Take rest all this side. So you get 240 into 240 into 100 divided by 10 into 8 into 75. Let us simplify this. So we have 25 threes are 75, 25 fours are 100. 8 1s are 8, 8 30s are 240. This 1 0 got cancelled. 3 and 3 got cancelled. We got x is equal to 4. Your length is equal to 5x, that is 5 times 4, which is 20 meters. And the breadth of the room, breadth is equal to 3x, that is 3 times 4. 4 which is 12 meters got it the area of a playground so there is a playground and the area of the playground is given to you as 3650 meter square that means length into breadth is given to you as 3650 meter square find the cost of covering it so when you cover it with a gravel this becomes a cuboid and this is the height. So, 1.2 centimeter is the height of this. So, converting centimeter to meter, you will have to divide by 100, which is 1.2 divided by 100 meter. This is the height of the gravel, which is going to happen. So, 1.2, this is nothing but 12 by 1000 uh, meter is the height. So, how do I get the cost? So, the volume of gravel, volume of gravel multiplied by rate, you get the cost of the gravel. Okay. So, volume of a gravel is length into breadth into height, which is the area, uh, which is 3650 into height, which we have calculated here 12 by 1000 into rate, which is 6.40 per cubic meter is equal to cost. Okay. So, which we have to calculate. Now, let us simplify this. 365 
into 12 by 100 and let us take this 6.40 this 0 does not have a value just it is 64 by 10 let us simplify this <clears throat> so we have two decimal 200 we will keep down so rest we are going to simplify so we have uh, two fiza and two sixza divide uh, three six five by five five Six the five seven the thirty five five seven the thirty five one five so seventy three so just multiply seventy three into six into sixty four so seventy three into six six three the eighteen carry one six seven the forty two plus one forty three four hundred and thirty eight you multiply by sixty four so Four eights are thirty two, three four threes are twelve plus three fifteen, carry one, four four are sixteen plus one seventeen, six eights are forty eight, six threes are eighteen plus four twenty two, six fours are twenty four plus two, twenty four plus two is twenty six, add five plus eight, thirteen, carry one, seven plus two, nine plus one. 10 carry 1 6 plus 1 7 plus 1 8 and this is 2 and so you get this as 2032 by 100 which is so the cost is nothing but rupees rupees 280.32 32 pesa this is the cost of the gravel got it a square plot of side x centimeter is 8 mm thick. So, there is a square plot. So, the length and the breadth is going to be x and x. So, you have length is equal to x. Your breadth is going to be x. And when it becomes 8 mm thick, that becomes h. So, this is x centimeter and centimeter. h is 8 mm. 8 mm is 8 upon 10 centimeter. And this becomes a cuboidal shape. And if the volume is given to you. Now, the volume is nothing but length into breadth into height and which is given to you 2880 centimeter cube. So length and breadth are x and x. The height is 8 by 10 is equal to 2880. So you get x square is equal to 2880 into 10 upon 8. So we simplify this. 4 2s are 8, 4 7s are 28, 4 2s are 8, we get 720. Uh, 72, when you divide by 2, you get 360. And 360 into 10 is 3600. So, square root of 3600 is nothing but 60. So, this is how you get the value as 60 centimeter, value of x as 60 centimeter. So, the next qu six questions we are going to solve in the next video, children. So, if you like it, please share with your friends and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.